what's up what's up what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna be taking you guys to the pick and pay wine and food festival i hope you all enjoy and i'm gonna be doing a voiceover because um most of the sound from the camera was not good so yeah this is when we had entered and i was kind of like showing off what i was wearing and stuff but um yeah the school bag i didn't want the school bag yeah but we needed it so yeah it was crimping my style <laughs> so this is when we were entering um the venue i was there looking for the tickets because kind of low-key forgot and then i went on the other side but they told us to go to the other side because we had um a wine tasting as well session booked so yeah there i was waiting for to be scanned scanned and yeah after that you go you get your ticket you get your wristband and then they give you at last after that there i was snapping 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 you all know me and yeah there i was walking to the entrance so we arrived we see the vibe we see the stalls so many stalls guys like so 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 many stalls and we had to like choose where we want to start off because most of this wine names were yeah new names but most of them were, some of them were new so yeah there we were just walking around observing the setting how it was and just literally deciding on a, a, as to like which stall to start with. Right. Oh, this is, we take one to taste. Oh, nice. So we have how many? One, two, three, four. Sorry about that. We went to the Annabelle store and there was the lady explaining to me um yeah the process of the thing the sparkling wine and how it goes and stuff like that and yeah that's when I decided and it was so weird because now you're, you're giving them a token they give you a glass of wine and that was very nice i kind of like enjoyed that it felt like i'm buying food with toy or something <laughs> and there was tasting guys it was very nice it was very nice i don't want to lie it was one of the sparkling wines we haven't tried of annabelle because they have various flavors this was the one we haven't tried yet so yeah i really loved it you can see i'm sure Yes, child. And yeah, we moved on. We went to... I don't know how to pronounce these names. We went to another stall and there we were. Same process explained to us what's going on and then I get to choose which one I really want. And yeah way it was so it's gonna be like the same process for a long time tasting the wine of Altuan. I was so happy because for the first time I tried something new and I actually liked it. Their wine is nice. Their wine is beautiful guys like yo. And then we went on to another stall. Same process happens. We had to rinse the, rinse the glass. As you get to another stall you rinse the glass so that yeah you get to taste the whole new thing. So we tasted some sparkling wines as well. Um, the and it was yeah we needed them to explain obviously because we were kind of like also doing research about wines for yeah we were there for for a certain reason Yeah. 
actually go to the best Chardonnay in South Africa. Nice. Um, and then this year we entered it into the Chardonnay du Monde, Concours Mondial, and that is the top Chardonnay competition in the world. And there were only two South African producers that received gold, and this wine was one of them. Take it from there. Take it from there, <laughs> yes, I guess. <laughs> also based on affordability and because yeah. the customer base. So there I was again tasting a uh, bag's bag. Um, it was very nice as well. Yeah, I loved it and I loved how the lady was thorough into it and explaining about the wine and stuff like that. So there I was never mind how my face expression is actually but I was interested I was interested I am interested in a lot of wines I'm interested so yeah there I was tasting it and yeah it was good it tasted it, t it tasted familiar but I loved it and the lady was very good in explaining so after that guys we then went to um, the wine session wine tasting session that we had booked and yeah we when we arrived they had already just started um, and we had to find seats decided to sit in the front because we wanted to get a better view of things like this is our first official like wine tasting and wine pairing with food you, you get what I'm saying so yeah but the there was a whole nice setup this bunch of people in front explaining the wines it was a certain brand that we were tasting and it was a sparkling brand that's the session that we had booked Creamy note from that oyster as well. For those of you who bit into your oyster, but most of you just want to slide down and get rid of it as quickly as possible, yeah? Oh, I can see your face, man. Like, oh, not so sure on this one there. Um, but now what you're going to get, you know, lemon or citrus notes, which is the, the yuzu, is a wonderful citrusy flavor. You know, can fight with the wine here, but have a sip of that wine, you amaze at how the palate is lovely and clean, ready for hopefully your next oyster. Bubbles are often seen as the starting drink before you go to still wines, whether it's red or white. I think this is a great way to show how you can utilize Acclimatized with that, uh, with the, the bubbles, and then sort of eat and drink, and enjoy that combination uh, that, you, that you've got. So again, we've got sort of all, almost opposite. Got a wonderful sort of sweetness, but a lovely sharpness, which is very typical of uh, your MCC bringing a sort of a bitter sour note coming coming through. Um, but again, lovely earthy flavours, a little bit of sort of smokiness from the from the summit working you know, pretty well. So go on, eat, drink, eat, drink, be merry as you you go through. Clean your palate, try not to make mix because then you're starting to, you know, change profiles completely. But your mouth feels really lovely and clean afterwards, ready for your next bite. You enjoy yeah. that? And, and the, 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 the beauty, beauty about salmon is that you can have it either...
standards. So we really you have you to do that in a weekend. I do that. Oh, we've done it last night. <laughs> um, so, so we have to kind of break the the idea of wine is just with a meal or at a dinner or at a lunch. Um, I joke about it, but it's true. If you go to to Europe. Um, Businessmen will go out on their lunchtime, have a couple of bottles of wine, go back to the office. In South Africa, you'll be fired because uh, it's not part of our culture to enjoy wine. Or if, when you go to Belgium and you see those guys drink that 9% alcohol, Duvels, and go back to the site, construction. Um, we, we, we still have to get there where wine is not just that occasional drink. So we were done with our wine tasting okay, guys and now we decided to go get some food because yeah the wine was kicking in hey the wine was kicking in and we have like 50 tokens that means 50 wine tastings and we hadn't we haven't even used one at that like half at that point so yeah that's what i meant so we went to the pick and pay store we decided to get some veggies yeah so that was me paying after that we went to go look for a place to sit obviously guys when you're with me there's always going to be a vibe i'm only dancing i'm always yeah i don't care where i am if i'm comfortable if i'm with someone whom i'm comfortable with i'm always going to be doing crazy stuff i don't care who else is around so yeah we were looking for a place to see so that we can eat um yeah so we sat down we chowed 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 the food as you can see and after eating we continue with our wine tasting guys we went to valpre and yeah we were just tasting the wines and yeah they gave us free water and our wine tasting journey was continuing here we were from Valpre going to other stalls to try out their wines and then we decided to go to Robertson because we saw they have this um, new flavors that are light they are the lighter versions of the already existing flavors so we wanted to try that as well and yeah and we were there they were they explained the wines they explained what it was and why they came up with the light version and stuff and then from there yeah i had to choose which one to taste cause, taste because at that point i had to be very picky because i had to be very picky because the wine was already kicking in guys and i didn't want to waste um time or my tokens on things that yeah i already know right? so i was focusing on the ones that i really really don't know so i tried the light versions of of um the wines that they have now and decided to try the white one and stuff and it was still dry yeah it was still dry but it was a lighter vision of the dry that they already have so i don't really enjoy it that much because it's like they just mixed it with water so yeah we moved to nidabek now and yeah same process Kesana. same process same process same process just getting the people to explain because as i told you we were doing research at the same time not just like um tasting wines just for fun yeah so we were all, like doing research at the same time so yeah got the nice guy to explain very 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 thorough what it was and what was happening and yeah i got to choose which one i wanted to taste but at this point i feel like i was more into the white wines went to library I was very excited actually yeah the, these were the people that were happy to see the camera as you can see lovely people lively people yeah so at this point i was so happy to be at library guys because i've been seeing it on tv rich people drinking this wine and i was like ah this taste is great this tastes awesome i was excited i got the guy to talk to me a bit and make me taste i even like this was like um one of the few stalls that i wanted two wines to taste like at least two wines the rosé and the white wine guys i was so excited but to my surprise when i decided to taste the wine <laughs> yo uh, this was the worst wine that i tasted the whole day this was the worst 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 i didn't even know i i even thought about throwing it away but i was like nah and then we saw the real champagne guys the real real champagne 
and when we got there like um they were already done they were already finished as i've said it's the real champagne it's the real thing so yeah then we went to buy more food snacks and more food yes then i don't know what these ladies were saying or talking about but eh, <laughs> but anyway we got more food more snacks pizza and some we had chips and stuff and then we went to the live performances i removed the sound because um i don't i didn't want like youtube to do those copyright things yeah i removed so i removed the sound but it was really nice so there was live performances they were performing songs that we know so it was it was nice and like easy to vibe for vibe to and yeah we're just there looking if like we can sit down we need to chill or if like we need to like dance and stuff so we finally decided that um no let let us just go and listen to the music there by the stage and vibe and dance like with um other people and then after that we decided to um, go try more wine but at that point like a lot of stores had closed because the thing in the wine festival was closing at six and at that time it was like five past five so a lot of stores were already done so it was few that were, were still there but um i missed everything we just decided you know what we um tired the wine kicked in and we just gotta go home <laughs> at this point so yeah there we were heading to um the exit and yeah here here i was trying to uber and i was confused as to like which stop to use and stuff i don't even know if i could read or see nicely here but at that point yeah i was asking um thomas what stop to put and stuff like that because also like where we were was a bit far from the entrance and there was traffic so we had to figure out a way to get to leave quickly in a way that we won't be yeah we won't it won't take time yeah so yeah that was it guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing liking if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel there's more content that's coming in i'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of things that i am doing that i will be doing and i hope you guys enjoyed my content we were done here as you can see we are heading for the exit and i was still excited i was so happy and i i i had no i had no regrets whatsoever so yeah we headed home thank you for joining see you next time okay guys love you lots